What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching it's a stake to real. So guys today in this video I am going to show you that how you can create a virtual machine in Proxmox. So without further ado let's get started. Ok so guys right now you can see my computer skin. Now first let's access to our Proxmox dashboard using our browser. So I open my browser then I visit to Proxmox IP address. So this is the Proxmox virtual environment login panel. Here I have to use my username and password to log in to my Proxmox server. Ok. So this is the dashboard of Proxmox virtual environment. And if I expand this option in this local drive and ISO images, here I have couple of ISO image. This Debian installer, Ubuntu desktop and Ubuntu live server. So to create a virtual machine, first of all, you have to upload any operating system ISO file, whatever you want to create a virtual machine with. So here you can see I have Ubuntu live server, Ubuntu desktop and Debian ISO file. If you don't know how you can upload any ISO file into your Proxmox, you can use this upload option or you can use this download from URL option. If you want the step by step guide, watch my previous video about uploading any ISO file into your Proxmox server or downloading from the internet. So I had already all of this ISO file into this Proxmox. Now let me show you how you can create a Ubuntu desktop virtual machine in our Proxmox server. So here in the right side you will see an option called create VM. You have to click on this button click on create VM and a pop up will come up like this. Here you have to select your node as in this Proxmox server I have only single node. So here I am going to select this Proxmox one and the VM ID will be automatically assigned for your virtual box. And here you can name it whatever you want. Here I am going to type Ubuntu desktop. This is my virtual machine name. Then I am going to click on next. Then from this OS section you have to select the disk or drive where you keep all of your ISO file. In my case I have to select local. Then you have to click on ISO image and select the ISO file whatever you want to use to create a virtual machine. For this video I am going to select this Ubuntu desktop ISO file. Then now you can keep everything default. But if you want to use the Microsoft or Windows operating system, then from this type option you have to select Microsoft Windows. Then from this version you have to select the Windows version. As we are installing the Ubuntu Linux operating system, so from here I am going to select Linux and the kernel version. Then you have to click on next. Now on this system tab you should keep everything as default for Ubuntu Linux. Then click on next and from the disk drive you can select where you want to keep these virtual machine files. Here I am going to select this local LVM and here you can assign the disk size for your Ubuntu virtual machine or your virtual machine. Here I am going to keep it 32 GB. Then click on next. Then from this CPU option you have to make sure you have give an extra core to your virtual machine. Here I am going to give two core because I am using Core i3 processor as a virtual machine CPU. Then click on next. Then from this memory option you can assign a RAM for your virtual machine. 2GB is more than enough for an Ubuntu desktop computer so I am going to keep it default but you can increase it if you have extra RAM or more RAM into your Proxmox server. Then click on next. Then on the network tab keep everything default then click on next. Then click on finish. Then give it a some time and you will get a new VM with the VM ID. Here you can see this is a new VM the ID is 102. And now it's gonna come up with the name whatever you set. Here you can see it's set to Ubuntu desktop. Now if you click here you will see the summary of your virtual machine. From this summary tab you can see the CPU usage, memory usage, boot disk size, everything. So now let me show you how you can start. So from here click on console. Then click on start now. And now your virtual machine should boot from the ISO file. Now from here you can easily install the Ubuntu operating system as a virtual machine. So let me do it. So from here you have to select try or install Ubuntu then press enter and now you have to perform all the basic setting and the setup whatever you need while you install this Ubuntu operating system on a regular desktop computer. Here you can see there is two options try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. Now just follow the prompt and install the Ubuntu operating system as like a regular computer. I am going to fast forward all of this option. Ok so guys now here you can see Ubuntu installation has been started. Now it is gonna take some time to get install this Ubuntu desktop as a virtual machine in your Proxmox server. So you have to wait until the installation has been completed. Ok. So guys here you can see installation has been completed. Now before restart you should remove the installation disk media from your virtual machine. So go to hardware. Then from here select the CD DVD and remove it. Then click on yes. Then go to console. 
and restart now. And now you have to log into your Ubuntu desktop virtual machine using the credential whatever you said during the installation. Okay. So guys, this is the Ubuntu desktop. So now you can easily use this Ubuntu desktop virtual machine into your Proxmox. If you want to use this Ubuntu desktop with the full screen mode or the bigger screen, click on this icon, then click on this full screen icon and it will come up like this. And now if you want to cover all of these black bars, right click on your desktop, then go to display setting. Then from here, from this resolution option, select your desired resolution, then click on apply. Then keep changes. And here you can see our Ubuntu virtual machine is now full screen. So like this, you can easily create any virtual machine into your Proxmox server. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching this tech tutorial and I'm signing out.